seeing from RTO here on a Sunday, no doubt. Yes, which only means one thing, it's a birthday, top ten. And it's a special one for me because it's my little brother Matthew. So happy birthday. Um, born 25th of August 1976. Yeah, long, seems a long time ago. And he, the thing is, the older he gets, the older he makes me feel. So uh, have a great day, I'm sure you will. Um, and uh, he was born on a Wednesday, and I know exactly where I was when he came into the world. It was actually in, a month early. He couldn't hang about. And the thing is, it's rubbed off of him because he's never late for anything. <laughs> He'll always turn up early. So uh, it was a leap year as well. And Matthew is part of the Generation X. His star sign is Virgo. And his year, Chinese Zodiac is the Year of the Dragon. Now, last year we did his UK top 10. So this year we're going to do the US. So this is what was in the charts over in the United States when you were born. Now, the president was Gerald Ford. The other one that took over from Tricky Dicky. So we know there's a few people's birthdays we did last year. So I went diving more this year. And we've got one from born in 1530. I don't know if you know this, but you share your birthday with Ivan the Terrible. <laughs> he was the Grand Prince of Moscow and he was the first Tsar of Russia. He was born in Kolmensky in Russia. Now, we move on to 1961, and today is the birthday of American country singer Billy Ray Cyrus. He's got some famous children, hasn't he? One being Miley. He was known for that achy, breaky heart. Yeah. <laughs> the less we talk about that, the better. Okay, I don't know if you knew this one. Um, born in 1970, supermodel Claudia Schiffer's birthday today as well so there you go so i thought let's have a look at some notable things in history um i don't, I don't know if you knew this one in 1932 amelia Earhart completes a transcontinental non-stop flight by the first woman landing in newark in new jersey so she first woman to fly across the atlantic I mean, it takes up to eight hours on a modern day plane, so God knows how long it took with her. I, can't, I, I, I didn't look that up. Now, here's a bit of useful information. 1958. A person called Monfuco Ando markets the first package of pre cooked noodles, and they were called Chicken Rayman. So, this is like the very first pot noodle. In a bag. And in 1960, the summer, on this day, the Summer Olympic Games opened in Rome, Italy. So we're not here for that, are we? So we're here for that top ten. So let's cue that music. Okay, here we go then. At ten, number ten, up one place. George Benson, this masquerade. Yeah, it's, it's an alright song. I don't remember much about this one, to be quite honest. I don't know if it even charted here in the UK, but it was at number 10. It's okay, it's not one of them. At number 9, we have a numb mover. Get Closer from Seals and Cross. Oh dear, I, I, I'm not very keen on this. I mean, in 76, what we were listening to was punk and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, this is a little bit wishy-washy for me. I'm not a big lover of that. At number eight, up five, the fifth of Beethoven, Walt, Walter Murphy, Big Apple Band. Now, this is a disco version of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Now, this is one of them good songs that I knew what, I knew the tune, but I didn't know what it was called. Who it was by? And finally, I know. It's, I like quite like this, always have. At number seven, 
Up five. Now this is a great song. Play that funky music, Wild Cherry. One of the great funk songs of the 70s. Um, I love this. Um, I've seen the rock band Thunder do a great version of this. And it was also featured in a Martin Lawrence film. I think is it The Black Knight? Or something like that, where he gets a medieval band to play this. Absolutely hilarious. Great track. At number six, we have another non mover. Shake, Shake Your Body by KC and the Sunshine Band, the band that had more, about 50,000 people on stage. Never a big fan of KC and the Sunshine Band. It's all right though, this song. At number five, another non-mover. I'd really love to see you tonight, Dan England and John Coley. Yeah, I don't remember this. Um, I don't think it got charted over here. It's just a sort of mediocre sort of pop song it's not that brilliant at number four yet another non-mover you'll never find another love like mine Lou Rawis very disco-y um, yeah we were listening to the Sex Pistols and the Damned and status quo and all that sort of thing we weren't listening to this here in the UK so it's another song I don't know much about not many in this top 10 that I know this week. Okay, I know this one. At number three, another uh, non mover. Let them in by wings. One that starts off the doorbell. And it is my doorbell, which really annoys Rocky if you put this um, on, if you put this on, because he thinks someone's at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell and all that good stuff. Yeah, great track from Wings. Number two, yet another number. Nothing was moving in the charts in 1972 in the USA. And it's you should you should be dancing. The Bee Gees, brilliant song. I love this disco song. Great song from the Bee Gees. But at number one, and uh, it was the fourth of four weeks at number one, and it was the same number one in the UK. Not many people that I've done this have the same number one for each time I've done the, the, the birthday top tens. And you do, Matthew, and it's the brilliant Elton John, Kiki D, Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Uh, classic. Um, riding high on both sides of the Atlantic in 1976. Absolutely brilliant song um, from Elton and Kiki. So there you go, Matthew. There was your American top 10 a little bit different from last year's but um if you want to listen to some of the songs the playlists in there and you make your own your own opinions on the on this top 10 so i'm sure you have a great great day um i'm sure the kids will spoil you so uh we'll catch up at some stage okay that's all for this um please do birthday top tens on Sundays when it when it needs to be when people's birthdays fall. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, even though it's a bank holiday Monday, and we're going to finish off the um, Peter Hamill story with a few of his collaborations. And tomorrow's perfect side, I'm going to have, be listening to Rubber Soul by the Beatles. So everyone enjoy your but uh, enjoy your Sunday. Bye for now. <laughs>